my channel welcome if you're someone who's been here before welcome to you and thank you for coming back today i just thought to do a little sales um video and what i sold last week there's not a lot i'm gonna say there's not a lot i actually mean there's not a lot there's about 10 but 10's better than nothing the way i see it i'm a part-time reseller it's more my hobby than anything i don't do it to make a profit which is good because i don't because every time i do make a profit i put it straight back in and buy loads more stuff and bits and bobs and again i'm trying to save up for a shed because last time i ended up spending the money that i'd saved but this time because i'm not spending as much i've managed to save a bit more so yeah so that's all yeah sorry about that as a waffled on a little bit so I've, i know some people just want to hear my sales video and not hear me waffling on so i'll just get my phone and i'll show you what i've sold and then i'll have a little chit chat afterwards okay and go so it's sunday now sunday the 10th so this is from the 1st to the 10th of may today which is sunday so what i'll do is i'll quickly run through them and if there's any little stories about the items i'll tell you afterwards because i know some people are not interested in me waffling so this first item was a, a wrap book sold for 6 99 I think this must have been one of the, I'm sure they were the paperbacks, it's free for a pound the one shop that I get them from, but I wouldn't have paid more than 50p. So that sold for 6 99 This next was, um, this next, this, this Doctor Who Dalek thing sold for £28. I also sold another uh, cookie jar to the same guy, I'll put the picture next to it. can't remember what it's called, it's a grey one. So <laughs> I put them close together for the same price as well and I was a little bit worried they would get damaged in the post but the ones got there and this has still got dispatched on so I'll tell you the reason why I was worried about that getting there in one piece afterwards. So these next pa uh, pair of Clark shoes are for £17 and they're coming back. And I said um, they're too big for them so they're on the right back so I probably paid about a fiver for them. So it's annoying, isn't it? It's like, uh, um, it's not annoying because I know everybody has got the right to return stuff, but it pisses me off when PayPal keep their cut. I'm looking forward to this new system thingy by money, where it's a bit like Amazon, where they just took the money straight away. But then again, are eBay going to up the fees? Probably will. I don't, I don't know. I haven't even read their emails and that because they just look boring, if I'm honest. I'll wait till somebody does a video and talks about it, then I'll just watch that. So the next item is, is another book, a Star Trek book sold for $9.99. Again, was that paperback? I wouldn't have paid more than a pound. So I've had positive feedback, so that's all good for that. Another pair of Clark shoes sold for $16.99. So it's been delivered, so that, that's good. Um, again, probably paid four or five pounds for that. Another pair of Clark shoes sold for £15. I think I sent an offer on them. Everybody's been getting offers. Uh, next again, another pair of shoes. Riker shoes sold for £22.99. Again, four or five pounds for that. This bloody game, £6.99. I think I've had it forever. I probably paid about a five for it at the time because it was brand new and sealed. So, but yeah, we'll just move on from that one. <laughs> next is this necklace, which is part of the stuff that I used to sell on Amazon. Sold for £15 of less positive feedback. So brilliant. Pair of cotton trader shoes, these were in really good nick. They're quite chunky as well. Sold for £16. Again, with shoes, I tend to pay four or five pounds. This again, I'm really loving my books at the moment. Like, you know, I'm, well, I've got loads that haven't sold, but this one sold for £29.99. It comics for business or something. I haven't got a clue what it's on about, but £29.99 for a book. Again, I wouldn't have paid more than a pound. In fact, I think, I can't remember if it's paperback. If it was paperback, I wouldn't have, it would have been the free for a pound. But yeah, <laughs> sometimes I just, it's shocking, in it? I know I keep going on and banging on about it, but to me, just, it, it's a lot of money. Uh, but obviously the person wanted it. Um, it says it's been delivered, so hopefully they're happy with it. Next couple of items. Or two of them <laughs> i've got a pack up which i sold over the past that couple of days and because i've got my thing on dispatch for five days now so this plush sold for four pound fifty i think i sent them an offer and then they counted and come to four fifty and i think these were probably in the 
get it free for four for a pound basket yeah i'm almost sure it was and this um is it a dvd or game or something i think it's a dvd so for 550 and this i got in a bundle of stuff that i bought on shopped so yeah so that was everything that i bought i've not i bought that i sold on ebay this week I didn't do a sales video last week because to be honest I was knackered because <laughs> I was back at work last week and I just had that much to do in the house and I wanted to get a, lots of stuff on eBay and that because I'm trying to increase my shop level but I've got a plan my plan of action is at the moment I put my phone at the moment I'm a basic shop and is it 250 i can't remember 250 items i can't remember <laughs> you know what i mean if you if you do the ebay shop feature shop and all that sort of stuff which by the way i'm a basic shop and i haven't had my uh, packing voucher do they not do packing vouchers anymore has anybody else not had the packing voucher i want it <laughs> you know uh yeah what's gonna say what i want to do is move up to the feature shop again and what i've done in the past is well, i've gone up to the feature shop I haven't got enough stuff in and it hasn't been worth paying the 70 odd pound because I haven't got to the level so what I'm doing now is I had a little think about it and I thought the stuff that's coming close to the 30 days I've been um, closing them ending them and putting them in my in, in my unsold section and then so obviously the space then to put new stuff and when that gets to the 30 days put that into me unsold but i know you can only keep it in there 60 days can't you so i'm putting stuff on the i'm using my auctions as well so basically i'm trying to add stuff on but not cost me as much if that makes sense because before everything i was adding on that went over was costing me every every time so what i'm doing now is daily everything that's coming to the end it in my own soul but i know i've only got 60 days so i've got to, <laughs> got to keep a check on that i wish they'd give you a warning i wish ebay oh sometimes i think i wish ebay would say look listen you you're gonna have to do something with these unsold otherwise they're gonna disappear same with this drafts how long can stuff stay in the drafts i'm not quite sure of that but i'm sure it's only something please please if you know this can you tell me is it only about 20 items a time you can put in drafts? Because I really wish you could put more in because that would really help me out loads because I could just put everything in drafts and then when I've got enough to move up to a feature shop then I could all go live. Well why? If it's only about 20 items which I think it is. Blooming stupid if you ask me. Try I just think sometimes with eBay well, I don't know how to describe it. Sometimes I just think, could you, could I just send you an email and you can just do this to make life a bit easier for people, please? You do, I just think that would make things easier. But maybe I'm missing something. This is sometimes where I think maybe I'm actually missing something and everybody else knows how to do it better. Do you know what I mean? Because like I said, at the moment, I'm take, I've got about 200 items live. How many live? Let me check. I'll show you I've got um, 230 active and then 271 in the um, unsold but obviously I want to put them in um, active soon but why can't I just put them all in the drafts why can't we use it why can't you put more stuff in drafts so i've got 198 now oh see Liam, that's Liam there <laughs> where's it gone come on you it says i could i've got 198 there that i can put on so i'm going to be doing some more today for that so i'll just put this back down and i'll be back in a sec because it's the it's at eight minutes so i'll be back in a sec these cookie jars I bought from round the corner on Facebook Marketplace. I bought these of the same guy. These and there was a load of books as well. Most of the books were all sold. Some of them were like, you know, the Crystal Bible books. Sold some of them, still got some up for sale now. But I think I bought the lot for about £40. So yeah, I got a proper good deal with these. But 
and I'm going to sound like a right cow now but you know when people don't look like the profile picture on his profile picture the guy looks very distinguished very beard smart you know one of them people like wow that, that's a really nice photo <laughs> like you know but when I went to pick the stuff up if anybody's ever watched Keeping Up Appearances it's Onslow he bears a striking resemblance to that guy <laughs> which took me by surprise you know when you're not expecting it but to be fair we everybody on our phone and our facebook profile pictures we may like <laughs> it's a bit of filtering <laughs> i think we've all been guilty of that ain't we or is it just me <laughs> anyway so i got a really good deal off this guy <laughs> i know i sound like awful and i'm really sorry it, was just, it just shocked me <laughs> no i wasn't expecting it so yeah so i sold both of them two separate times to the same person now <laughs> the first one has got their okay and i'm glad it's got their okay because i had a bit of a nightmare back in it because i was at work and i found a box that would have been perfect it was a um, recycled box obviously but it was solid and I thought it would go in there brilliant and I could put loads of padding around it like it was big big bigger <laughs> you know <laughs> so I left this box by my locker now some of you may know some of you may not um the company I work for has moved premises and I've got no sense of direction so I've been using my sat nav and even with my sat nav I've managed to get lost once going there and about three times coming home <laughs> you know even with the sat nav so and what happened was i put this box by my locker i'll take that and then i had a mild panic attack because i looked at my phone and because i've been looking at youtube videos at lunchtime i'd used all my battery so <laughs> when i got to go home i looked at my battery and it got like three percent left and i thought well if that gets me so far I'll be all right like you know I can I can do it like you know but because I was in a panic mode I completely forgot to pick the box up and I got so far coming home and got lost <laughs> I should have gone right at the one big island this bloody island pisses me off I'm sure they've made islands to just wind me up I mean it's got about seven bloody roads coming off it then traffic lights or as i'm referring to this bloody island like suicide island like you know so anyway i got lost but yeah so that was a story about why i didn't pack this in the box that i wanted to pack it so it got wrapped in loads and loads of bullet, bubble wrap i had to do a makeshift box round it then i got wrapped it in bubble wrap again then put a big plastic bag over it but <laughs> fortunately it's got there in one piece and the guys give me positive feedback so now you watch the one that i got the proper box for is going to end up broken it and be banging then <laughs> next door banging so hopefully that gets there the drilling now so hopefully that one gets there in one piece because I'll, I'll be gutted if that don't because that, that was a bloody box that i wanted so and then these items, oh, hang on, where's it gone now? See, I've got it here. I've got it here ready to put this DVD I got from a job lot on Spot last Sunday. And I'm going to put um, a picture there. They had two lots of items, some ga kiddies games and some bags and then a little mini job lot. So I sent them enough, they had them up for, I can't remember the price, but I said, would you accept £10 for them all? Because I noticed I've had them on there a few weeks, like, you know, so I bought, and I've bought stuff from them before. It's a couple who tend to put quite a few stuff. And I've noticed there's another reseller who I believe is local to me, buys a lot of stuff off them as well. Because, you know, on shops, you can see who's made offers and who's bought the item. I think I know who it is. And I'm wondering if he's watching the video today. <laughs> I'm like, I know what you bought and I wanted that, <laughs> you know. But anyway, so beside the point, so I, this is what I bought off them. And one of them was this. And what else? Hang on, let me show you. Because I've already got most of them on eBay at the moment. Most of them, did I put them on auction? So, hang on, the one item I've got a bid on, the Sleep Frog game. They all come to a tenner. 
I'm, got, I'm trying to find stuff now to show you what I got, what I've already put on auctions. The other one was this uh, learn through music item, which I've seen. They don't. I give it a good clean, and it worked, and everything. Like you know, um, basically, it looked like they only sold in America, which is weird. But I've got that up for fourteen ninety nine because I just didn't know what price to put it at. And then you got these old vintage Monopoly game and this other game. And then there was this CD case thing. I, I'll try and again put them up there. I've only put it up for a couple of quid because I've seen that they sell in America as well, which is weird. But <laughs> this is the one that I made a prat of myself on. See, this knife here. I cleaned it up. It worked fine. It wasn't that dirty, to be honest, but obviously I cleaned everything anyway. Worked fine. So I went on eBay to look for a description of it and seen somebody else was selling exactly the same one. So I put it on watching at first just so I could just see how much they go for while I was doing something else. Put mine up for sale on auction and forgot to take it off on watching. And then in the morning I get up for work, puts my phone on and you know when you're half asleep? Basically I thought somebody... Although it, it don't even make sense now because I've got it on auction, not buy it now. It had got, somebody had sent me an offer. Now, I thought in my morning head brain that somebody had sent me an offer on my knife. So I s accepted it. Oh yeah, I was. and then the next thing, it got pay now. And I'm like, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm not going to pay. What am I going to pay for? What had happened is obviously because I was bloody nosing at the other person's knife, they've obviously gone, oh, you're interested, <laughs> you know, and sent me an offer like a log of prat. I've gone and accepted it, getting confused. But that'll just teach me a lesson for being nosy, really, when it, uh, I'll, I'll learn to be a bit more um, cautious before I go and accept things now. But that's embarrassing because they're probably looking at my stuff now and think, no, is he okay? She proper knows you never stopped there. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was. So it's Facebook, isn't it? It's nosy book, really, isn't it? That's what we do, really, isn't it? We just have a little nosy. And eBay's the same, isn't it? We just have a little nosy. But I oh, know now. So, yeah, if somebody sends me an offer to just ignore it, like, you know, but obviously read it. And I've got at the moment loads of CDs. I was given a load of CDs free. And yesterday I went through them all and I thought, you know what? I'm going to go through my own CD collection and limbs because we've got loads and loads and loads in the cupboard. And I can't, apart from in my car, I don't really play them. And to be honest, whenever I'm in my car, I've normally got somebody else with me. So I don't really get a chance to play my own music anymore. Just the radio. So I thought I might as well get rid of them. So at the moment, I've literally got them um, just all on auction. Still got to go through a load of them. But the ones that I've scanned and look pretty pretty good. When I say pretty good, more than a five. <laughs> like, you know. So I bundled them up like George Michael, Michael Jackson, The Police. Did I put The Police on? I'm just scrolling through them now. I'm basically using all my auctions to put the CDs. And if they what don't sell then... They can go in the unsold section. See, we've got a plan. <laughs> Not as stupid as I look. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's it. That's what, and then, oh, I'm an idiot. I bought, because I can't get to the shops, I'm missing shopping. So, I bought a mystery box, £18. There's a load of rubbish. So we, actually, I'll go and show you some of the stuff. Hang on a sec. So, this was my mystery box. I was actually thinking of doing a, a video of unboxing my mystery box. <laughs> Liam accidentally opened it because he was expecting a delivery from Amazon. I was at work. And you know when Amazon sends you a message and your courier is like two streets away. So even though this comes from Royal Mail, not from, <laughs> not from Amazon, Liam accidentally opened it. And I suppose I could have done um, an unboxing, but... You know, one of them, once somebody sort of taught, he says, I opened this box and you had this in and that in. And I wondered, I don't recall opening, uh, opening, ordering that. And I'm like, no, because it's bloody mine. You know? So anyway, I thought, oh, sorry, I want to see what's in it anyway. So I thought, can't really do an unboxing now because I know what's inside and that's like cheating, in it? So it's all right, the stuff. I've got a couple of stuff on eBay already, but the other stuff, 
it be not much worth it. I'll tell you, show you the rubbishy things first. Like that. I don't know what it is. Some kiddies thing. I don't know. Some mega rocket. Got that in there. To be honest, it's a mystery box, so I, I took the chance. Some bubbles. A selfie stick. I'm going to keep that actually for this bit and that. If it had a tripod, it would be better, but I'll keep it for that. And then I got this tooth. This is what I put this on eBay already. Some tooth pick or something apparently comes out. This little Assassin's Creed man thing, crushed. I've got that on already as well. This phone, I think you plug it into your. Your normal phone, your mobile, and pretend to be on the phone like the olden days. <laughs> no. uh, the last thing, it, it's got a nice box. A knife cutter. I looked at these. They, on the one website, they sell for 20 quid. A knife cutter. It is open, so I've put on the listing open, never used. Because I've never used it, but it was open. But then, look, yeah, one website where I, I got the pictures from. <laughs> It says it's on for 20 quid, which seems a bit excessive. I haven't put it on for that much. And then while I was doing that, Liam gave me these from screws. Do you want these? He says, he says do you want these? I'm like, no, what do I want screws for? I thought he was wanting me to do some bloody DIY or something. So now to sell this is for £9 odd. £9 odd on eBay, but they're really, hang on, how much were they? Not on eBay, on screw foot fix. They're really expensive on Amazon. Let me see if I can scan them again. Oh, hang on. No, it's not coming on today. Let me see if I can scan it. I know there were more on a... Come on, stupid phone. My phone's not playing today. Hang on. No? Okay. Barcode. See, there were a lot more. No, it's not working. But I'm sure there were a lot more on Amazon. So they're, they're on eBay. He's never opened them. Plasterboard screws or something. So yeah, so I bought stuff on shop and I bought a mystery box and I don't think I'll be buying a mystery box again in a hurry. I thought there might be something for me. Well, nothing for me. And this thing's broke again. You know, I bought a new one. Look, put it on. It's plugged in. It's plugged in, isn't it? Yeah. You know, my other one broke. Stopped working. This one, how long have I had this? I showed this in the last video, didn't I? Didn't even a year old and that's why I me at the back of my hair I had to try and use the uh, straighteners to get on my hair because my hair needs cutting and there's nothing open and I'm wondering when the shops are going to be open like normal because I need a haircut and I'm thinking maybe get, take a good few inches off because my hair is really thin and as it gets longer it gets even more scragglier but I don't know when that's going to be, so I thought, you know what, I'll try and curl my hair, try and make it look a bit smarter. And as you can tell, I didn't work either. I thought, oh, for God's sake, why are you broke now? I don't even know where the receipt is, look, nothing. It's literally not doing anything anymore. I don't know if I've overheated it. Oh, I'm a bit annoyed, actually. So anyway, <laughs> so that's all my sales. Not a lot, but a sale's a sale, isn't it? Like, you know, <laughs> it isn't a lot, is it? But sometimes you, I'm just chuffed to hear of the ka -ching. My ka -ching went again on my phone. I had to reinstall it. Every so often it just disappears. But then again, it's actually nice when you look at your phone and you've, you've got a sale, isn't it? And uh, again, I'm loving these send offers to buyers because maybe I think. It's a good idea because maybe some people are a bit embarrassed to send offers, you know, when you do buy it now or new stuff. And maybe some people are a bit like me at car boots. I, I'm not good at this bartering lark. Like, I find it really embarrassing. I, I'll do it on the other, well, when the car boots open again, which God knows when that's going to be. But I feel really embarrassed and cheeky. And I often wonder if that's how people on eBay feel buyers at least they feel a bit cheeky asking for something cheap mind you some people don't bloody feel cheeky do they <laughs> you know some people are proper bracent bracent 
brazen. <laughs> some people are really brazen. You know, you got some up for forty, and they go, "Will you accept a fiver?" Strangely enough, mate, no. <laughs> I've had a bit of an issue. Somebody sent me. I've got um, a game up for sale, starting bid four four ninety nine because there's bits missing on it. And somebody sent me an offer at first to say, "Would you accept a fiver?" And I thought, you know what? It was a this job lot stuff, so I accept a fiver. So when I went to do a buy now, obviously eBay said it's got to be is it forty percent higher, so they wouldn't have accepted it. So I just said to the person, "Sorry, I can't change it." So yesterday they sent me another offer saying, "Would you accept ten pounds?" So I thought, oh, happy days, aren't you know? So I said to, I updated it and it let me update. It cost me bloody 60p to change it to £10. So I sent them a message saying I've updated it to £10. And the next message off them was, um, you was going to accept £5 before. This has got the postage on and I thought, I thought I got confused. You know, when you get confused and I thought, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. This is where I think, communications by texting if you're face to face with someone you can see what they're saying and if you don't understand them you can ask them but with ebay messaging i got confused so what i think this person wanted they wanted the whole lot for a tenner but i thought they were offering 10 pound for it and the three pound odd postage so i've now got one less watcher on it now so i assumed that was the person watching but I'm not taking that £10 buy it now off now because that cost me bloody 60p. Bloody eBay. <laughs> so I put, I put a buy it now on now. It just cost me an extra 60p and I've got bugger all for it. I bet the other person don't even bid now. But yeah, that's just, that, nobody uh, bids for that. That's just going in me unsold. <laughs> that's getting me unsold with the other couple of hundred items in the unsold. But yeah, if anybody knows with the um, drafts, how many you can put in, please, and how long you can keep it in there. That would be that would be really helpful, thanks. So, yeah, this has been a bit of a waffly video again. So, thank you all for watching. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. Thank you to everyone who said yes, I'd like to see this video on Instagram. Thank you. If I could figure out how to do Instagram a bit better, by the way, if you want to follow me, it's just that I'll put it down there, same username, Donna the Bummy. I think there should be a scrolling text going along there, if I've done it wrong. That'd be great, thank you. Yeah, with Instagram, I can only do basic things, to be honest. When I see some people do fancy, fancy pictures and videos and writing and colourful stuff, I'm like in awe, because I don't know how they do it, because, yeah, I managed to put a ask a question yes or no <laughs> so like you know and that was as far as my technical stuff went so thank you to everyone who said yes who wanted who wanted to see this video and i have a feeling it's going to be a bloody long one so sorry about that <laughs> so if you're an ebay seller amazon seller etsy ebid i'm going to look into ebid again because i have got an account with them and i might transfer all my stuff to ebid not transfer it all you know when you copy it, I know you can do that, can't you? Years ago you used to be able to copy it. I'm going to see if I can do that. If any of you have got an experience with eBay, let me know. So take care everyone. Um, I was going to say have a good weekend, but the weekend's gone. But if you're still in lockdown, there's no such thing as a weekend. Is every, every day sort of runs into one. So take care everyone. Be good. If you can't be good, be careful. <laughs> okay, bye. Thumbs up. Well, yeah, if you want to give me a thumbs up, that'd be great. Thank you. Okay, bye.